Hello! So today I want to show you how to create camera shutter effect. I did this effect I would say a couple months ago on Instagram and it went super viral but I never posted it on YouTube. Yeah, now I'll make it up to you. I made it even better in my opinion uh, because I added more stuff to it. You'll see. So yeah, let's not waste any more time and start right away. First things first, we need up to 15 images, but honestly you can use as many as you want. This is just how many I used, but feel free to play with it and use as many as you like. Each image should be 10 frames long. Now add frame texture above the images. I love film textures, so no surprise here. And I know you do too, which is why I created Picture Collage Effects Pack. It's a set of templates for Premiere Pro and After Effects with built-in film frames, textures and sound effects. It's a simple drag and drop, just replace your images and you're done. Links in the description if you want to check it out. Ok, so cut the frame exactly with each image, then nest the frame and image together. Now go to the start of the first nested sequence, move 3 frames to the right and drag the second clip above. Repeat this for the rest of the clips. Not sure if there is some kind of shortcut to make this process faster. If you know, please let me know, <laughs> much appreciated. Ok, so apply directional blur to each nest sequence and change the direction to 90. Keep the blur low around 1, just enough to smooth things out. Now add the transform effect, move 3 frames to the right and keyframe the position. Then go back to the start and drag the position up until the image is completely out of the screen. Also set the shutter angle to 100 for that motion blur that is essential really for this effect. Then, because we are not doing all that work manually again, just copy these effects from the first video and paste them on the rest. Now nest everything together. Wow, that's a lot of nesting, I just realized. I'm sorry for doing this to you. Uh, I wanna add like more details to the whole effect. So I'm going to apply twirl effect and curve the left and right sides just a bit so it's subtle but it makes a difference. Next duplicate the entire nest sequence, set the blend mode to lighten and increase the scale of the bottom layer slightly. This adds that little glow to the effect, I think. And for the finishing touch, drag a film overlay above everything and change the blend mode to screen. I'll link it below in the description, the exact one that I used if you wanna download it, it's completely free. And that's it! Your shutter effect is done, simple but makes your videos so so much better. If you found this helpful, give this video a like, it helps me, it helps the channel and it helps your algorithm recommend you when I upload next video. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn notifications on so you don't miss my weekly uploads. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.